Hey, I want to I want to talk to you guys about um, two times that I was called the N word in my uh, in the educational field. Two times of many times, you know, when you take those educational classes in college, and you're getting your undergrad, and uh, you're reading those textbooks, and they're teaching you stuff. A lot of stuff that actually happens in a classroom, um, you, they, you never learn about in your in your class preparation during college. You learn a lot on the job. A lot of things happen on the job that um, scenarios and different things happen on the job. But um, two times in my career, I'm, I'm going to talk to you about that. I was called the N word, and uh, I was called the N word many times over the course of my educational career but um, here's two of the times so this first time I'm gonna tell you about um, this was a, a high school student and uh, he you know he, he he was a tougher kid to work with um, um, referred to the office a lot for his behavior um, you know at one point he told me um, that he had been raising himself since basically he was 10 years old tough background when I first met him you know I, I was at my role you know my role was kind of a um, uh, a person who dealt with the discipline in the school and uh, so one day you know I was asking I was trying to get him to go to class and uh, and uh, you know this is something that we were dealing with on a daily basis getting him to class on time and things like that so he comes out one day, and after I asked him to, you know, move along to get to class, he comes out and just says, hey, he said, hey, nigga, you just want to be in charge of everybody. And he used, you know, used the F word a little bit. Um, so he called me a nigga, told me I just want to be in charge of everybody. And, uh, you know, through the course of that year, I end up kind of like developing a little relationship uh, with that, with that, with the student, a positive relationship. And he ended up telling me, um, you know, later on in the year that I was one of the first like men in, that he ever encountered. Um, this was a black young man. He and I was one of the first black men or, or men in general who, who ever told him no, that he couldn't do something because like I said, he was kind of raising himself. So I was the um, first, uh, you know, one of the first people to like put structure and uh, kind of not let him do what he, whatever he wanted to do. He didn't like it at first. End up calling me, uh, calling me, calling me nigga as a result. But then later on, he did tell me that um, he did learn that um, just from being around me that if he wanted to be a part of something, um, he he learned that he has to follow rules and got to you know conform to the environment and uh, you know just go you know instead of just bucking up against the system, that it would be much easier for him just to you know navigate the system through the rules and and school and things like that. Another situation was um, uh, when I was in I was in a classroom, and I was at, I was at uh, towards it was towards the beginning of my educational experience. Um, I was kind of new out of college, and and uh, this was an elementary student. I was in teaching second grade, and uh, one day, uh, you know, sometimes we used to give the kids uh, like recess, like halfway through the day or whatever, something like that. They might get like 20 minutes of recess or free time in the classroom. And so um, if their behavior was you know, good that morning or whatever, good to, that day, they would get the full 20 minutes. If, they, if their behavior uh, wasn't quite up to par, then we might take some time away from them just to you know, help, help them learn that, um, that you know, things, you won't get the full 20 minutes if your behavior is not, uh, up to par with what we expect in the classroom. So one particular student, this was a white student, second grade. He uh, he he ended up getting like ten minutes of his of his uh, free time taken away. So, and he knew that going in uh, because his, you know we had to speak to him several times that morning about his behavior. And so, when it was time for free time, the students who were allowed to have the full twenty minutes. 
I dismissed them. You know, I was letting them know that they're going to be dismissed to go to the free time area. They could play games and things like that. Also told uh, the students who weren't going to get the full time that they were to remain in their seats and they were going to come to the area with me where, um, you know, and, and work on um, other things while the students got their full time. And when I got to this one particular student, I told him that he wasn't going to have his full time, which he already knew he wasn't. Um, he said, hey, man, you're nothing but a nigger. And uh, all the students got really quiet. Ooh, you're going to get in trouble. And all the little black students in the class, they like, man, do you want us to get him for you, man? You know, they were they were upset. And so uh, I just said, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And like, keep in mind, this guy, like I said, he was in second grade, called me a nigger. And so, um, eventually, you know, I never took that student to the office for that. Never, never reported it to the principal or anything like that. Um, I did end up letting his parents know, um, I did handle it within, within the classroom, but I did talk to the young man, like uh, off to his, by himself, and, you know, in the hallway or whatever, something like that. And I asked him, uh, you know, why, he, why he had called me a nigger and, you know, why he referred to me, that, me as that. And his, his explanation was that, um. He called me a nigger because that's what that's what his dad um, referred to me as or any other black person that was working in the building was known as a nigger. And also um, uh, whenever his dad would come to the parking lot and there was a line of cars to be pick up their students, their, their kids, if he happened to be like maybe fifth in line and couldn't get out fast as he thought he would, um, he would beep his horn and his son said he would say all these niggers are in my way. So that's just um, two times I was called the N word in my educational experience. That's two of many. I was actually called that many times by white students and black students. Um, I'm also seeing now that um, you know, uh, you know, some 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 white students would use N I G G E E R. Uh, most of the time, the black students would use N I G G A. But I'm also seeing now where students of all different kinds of races are using the the N I G G A, so that that word is becoming more and more prevalent amongst um, various groups. But that's something that you might encounter uh, in your educational experience. If you have if you have encountered this, um, please uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, let us let everybody know your experience with this and. Uh, I'll be interested to hear from you. Thanks for listening. Peace.